Hi, Dave Robinson from PlantCoverCrops.com. We're looking at a uh, mustard here. Uh, a lot of people are talking about utilizing mustards as as a uh, cover crop. Just want to look at the different root structure that we have on a um, on a mustard versus a radish. A fairly fibrous root here. It's not a tuber by any stretch of the imagination. In fact, as we're looking at these roots here, they're kind of got some depth down here probably about five inches deep or so um, but it's not again it's not a tuber like we would have with a radish so very much a different different type and if we pull out the weeds here we'll see there we go more of a tap root not much of a root now, the one thing about mustards, though, is that they do exhibit quite a uh, bit of uh, nematode control from things that, we've, that I've read, if my memory's right. And uh, we do have, well, that's the bottom of the root right there. So a um, little bit of uh, lateral root here, but again, not a lot of root for a very large plant. But uh, again, there's some good biology, soil biology going on with the mustards as they will uh, act as a fumigant uh, for the soil, especially against nematodes. So again, this is uh, one of the mustards here at the plot at Michigan State University.